Hello there guys and welcome to yet another video on SEPA channel. Today's video is going to be about another uh, maps and navigation app. Uh, this one is going to be offline. Let's see if by any chance it's going to have some online features as well, such as lifetime uh, traffic, which obviously that's always very really helpful. The name of the application is Osmand, O-S-M-A-N-D, -S Osmand, as you can see in uh, here. And yeah, let's go ahead and install it. Let's see how much we'll have. 109 megabits. Well, that shouldn't be a lot of, to be honest. Well, it installs quite quite fast. Let's see if we can see anything about the app. So the app has 4.3 stores review, which is great. Looks like in the past couple of days has a few bad reviews, to be honest. Loaded the app, I was able to add a GPX track from my Google Drive. It took me forever to work out how to just start navigation. Uh, right, Blandell is un unreliable and now won't start. I have just tried to get it set up on another phone and need to install maps of most of the UK for a longer tour. When I try to test it, well, <laughs> I guess the reviews are not pretty good. Let's see what's going to be our personal, you know, review about this. So what we're going to do, uh, Greater London. No, man, I want to get the whole thing, right? Select another region. Determine while using the app. Wow, so you have to download for each county count kind of. That's a bit that's a bit weird, right? I will say that if we will have had the option to download for the entire country, fair enough, call it a day. Let's go ahead and download it. So we got 100 megabits, which was the application itself, and then an another 168 megabits for the Yorkshire and the Humber, which is, you know, the area where, where I'm living. Okay. It's downloading pretty fast. I mean, obviously, we do have a smashing internet speed and then the application, it's on the Google servers. So, well, I guess that says all right. And let's go ahead and see. Go there to see the options. And then we have a couple of options. You can configure a profile. Most probably for that is going to ask you to log in. You have map markers, my places, search, navigation, configure a map, download maps, travel guides, which is a beta, plan a route, configure screen, clock in, settings and help. Pros map. So you have the type of if you want to drive or what you're gonna use. Okay, that's interesting. Obviously, we're going to use it for 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 a car. Let's click on configure profile and see if and what's gonna say. General settings, op team, units, region, configure map, configure the screen profile. Okay, let's let's take it one at a time, right? General settings, op team, map orientation, north it's up, fixed, nope. Movement direction. We always want the movement direction. 2D 2.5D view. Apply to all profiles. No, apply to all profiles. Please, thank you. Display position automatic. Screen oriented, same as the device. Yes, that makes sense. Screen control. Use system screen timeout. Timeout after wake up. Proximity cell sensor. Navigation instruction. Well, we want. Apply to all profiles. Yes, please. Power button. We don't want that. Proximity sensor. Yeah, I'm not going to activate that because I don't know what it's going to do. So, may as well call it a day and leave it as it is. Let's see. Units and formats. Driving region. Automatic. Okay. Units. We need miles and feet. Apply. Degrees, whatever, miles per hour, units of speed, that's Gucci. Volume button says zoom. I doesn't matter. I don't know what the Kalmar filter is, but reduces noise in compass regarding but adds inertia. Use magnetic sensor, full screen mode, no animation. I want animation. Oh no, leave it no animation. Okay, fair enough. Animate your own position. Right, so those are the general settings. Configure map. Right, we have some favorites. Okay, fair enough. The map looks, well, like a map, I suppose. It's a map. POI overlay. What is this? Oh, so you can choose different different things. Okay, fair enough. Let's activate. Point of interest, I suppose. That's, that's what it is. And then let's put charging station and some petrol. Filling station and parking. That's, you know, what's most important kind of, you know, the rest, obviously, you may as well, well, sort yourself out. 
map source, Wikipedia, explore Wikipedia offline. What is this? Provides all related, all place related Wikipedia articles. Only. I mean, it might be interesting, but not for us. Terrain, contour lines, hull shit slope. We will need that. Well, you need to pay, right? Two pounds ninety. Right, that all about the money looks like these guys, but who knows? You know what? Maybe it's gonna be a decent app, so money worth it. Okay, cycle routes, hiking routes. It might be a bit more complex than Google Maps, to be honest. But at the end, in general, what wins is who whatever app it's more simple to use. And if you are using it for driving, that should be the main purpose that the app is going to serve. If you are using it for hiking, whatever, or, you know, uh, biking, whatever, that's that's going to be the, the whole idea. Right, we configure the map, configuring the screen, left panel, right panel. I don't know what that stands for, but we will see top panel. Select screen side to add or rearrange widgets. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, makes sense now. So what you see on the right side, what you see. Okay, nice. It's going to give you a bit of more, you know, because as an example on, you know, sometimes on Google Maps or on, you know, on Waze, you may want to have the uh, limit, the speed limit on either the left or the right side of the screen, depending on what was with your, uh, you know, your driving style better or, and you can't really do that as far as I know. That's very nice. Profile appearance. You can select the color scheme. Let's select the car, because why not? Save. Looks cool. UA customization. Configure map. You know what? If you want to go through it, I mean, we can definitely do that. But I feel like it's a bit too much for this video. But if you really want for me to go through the profile appearance and UI customization, we can definitely do that 100%. Um, you can export the profile, so you can save it. Let's see where can you export it. Uh, you select, boom, continue. And then, yeah, you select it. Okay, fair enough. You can kind of save it and then copy from another profile. Right. Let's see, what else do we have? So, configure profile, that's it. Nice. Next will be map markers. Create map markers. I suppose that will be if you want to kind of put your markers on the map, which is great. My place is if you have any searches. Let's see if we're going to search for, a, I don't know, man. Let's see. Let's go for maybe Tesco Express. Oh, shoot. Sure. It's actually showing you, man, kind of the same as in Google Maps, which is, that's good, man. And these are the businesses. Yes, one is there, indeed. And another one is here. Yep, that's cool. Let's see what's the next one. So that works fine. I'm quite curious if it's going to, if, you know, if, if it's taking the data from like Google API or something like that. So, yeah, that will be interesting to see. Navigation. Speed camera, POI is point of interest. In some countries or region, the use of it uh, is prohibited by law. You need to make a choice depending. Keep active. I don't know. Hopefully, it's okay. I don't know. Keep in mind, this is for test purposes. I'm not going to use it IRL. Okay. Set destination. Let's go to Birmingham. Boom, boom, Birmingham. Birmingham City. Start. Download maps. Jesus Christ, man, you need to download all the maps. Stupid. A gigabyte? Nope. Nope. Well, this is a... Okay, so you can see the map in green wherever you download it already. And then the rest, it's obviously not green. Okay, let's go for then... Let's go for Leeds. City navigation twenty seven mile start. <laughs> the trip is thirty seven miles, time is forty seven minutes. Turn left onto William Street, 
Then in 100 feet, turn left. Well, I guess that's that's how it is. Any chances to... Yeah, well, we are here. Now, let's see. Next, we're not going to use it, obviously. We're just a testing. We're going to testing test pretty much while driving uh, on the next video for sure. So, configure map, download map, travel guides, beta. All right, so from Wikipedia, you got some, some travel guides. And then I suppose you can choose for, let's see, leads. Hello, can I search? It's not showing. Well, travel guide's bad. So far, so good. It doesn't have the lead city, which, you know. Anyway, configure screen. We went through this already. Is that it? Plugins. Let's see what plugins we have. We have Wikipedia, online maps, access many types of online so-called title or roster maps like pre-render or SM tiles. Enable. Trip record. It records your trips or trainings and analyze the data in terms of speed. Oh, this might be quite interesting, actually. Trip recording, uh, you know, just for kind of making sure you know where you went. I suppose if you have a job that or, you know, if you are a sole trader or a small entrepreneur that you need to record your data, make sure you have all the kilometers and all that. It might be an actually very good, very good um, app to kind of use it. Or if not, just use Google and, you know, enable history. Nautical map, view sky map, audio video notes. Take audio video notes during a trip. Interesting. Parking position, mark where your car is parked, open street map editing, contribute to open street map. Okay, that's interesting. Reviews for open place. I mean, if you are doing reviews and all that, and you know, if you are a content creator for blogging, vlogging, and you're doing reviews, you may as well use it because why not? You're going to make yourself known. External sensors. Yeah, accessibility, OS, MAND development. Right, I guess this was all for, for the video. I will say it's part of a easy, you know, application to use. We are going to give it a try and see exactly how it reacts while driving, if it's going to give us some sort of updates or not. And meanwhile, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think about the app and about the graphics. And if you want to say anything else about this one, please do let me know. You have a good one. Bye now.